Oh, <laughs> I always love new updates. Woo, we just got a new software update, 2020. 12.5 and let me tell you there's a feature in this that you guys are going to love because it's one of the most requested features that we've been asking for since the advent of dash cam in sentry mode last year so let's dig in so i just received the new firmware update 2020 12.5 now these are the previous release notes they're talking about driving visualization improvements that's for the stop sign and the stoplight recognition i'm not talking about that today Obviously, there's some track mode improvements. This is a performance model three, so I have those features. But today we're going to take a look at a couple of new features that have just been added on here. Number one is out of order supercharging stalls. So what it says here, the supercharging stations now identify the number of out of order stalls to view the current availability. Tap the supercharger station map pin. Doing that brings up all of the different superchargers that are in the area. So if I was to go on and tap one of these, it now shows that one stall is out of order here at this particular location here in Markham, Ontario. Let me tell you, this feature would have come in really handy when Ian and I were doing our cross Canada trip because there were a couple places where, you know, it would say reduced or limited service, but it doesn't tell you how many stalls. It doesn't say that the whole station is down. It could have been just a couple of stalls out of order. So this is a really nice new feature, being able to go in here and just uh, tap on different things to see if everything is, is working properly. You can see here in North York, it says uh, 20 out of 20 stalls are now available. Um, Speaking of which, actually, we should zoom out a little bit and go to some of those problem stations and just see what they actually report now. Let's see here. Northern Ontario was a bit of a problem here. Here's Wawa. See, it says reduced service. So, hmm, again, no indication here is what's going on. Let's uh, zoom out here. Let's try it like this so I can get a better idea of what things look like. So, yeah, that's the same. Uh, Ignis. See, it says reduced service, but uh, again... <laughs> We don't know. Those were two of them that were uh, problematic for us. Story goes that in these rural areas that they had a lot of difficulties getting uh, the proper amount of power to be able to service those locations. So that's probably still not solved. But along the, uh, the route here, here's another one here that says uh, reduced service as well. Temporary closure, Maple Creek, Saskatchewan. So all is not well along the supercharger route in some places. But anyways, they'll get around to that. All right, let's get back into the release notes and continue on. So the biggest feature that they've now introduced in this latest firmware update is the dash cam viewer. This is the, probably the most requested feature that people have been asking about since they added dash cam and sentry mode features last year. The ability to be able to look at your dash cam and your sentry mode clips in the car rather than having to pull out your USB key or your solid state drive, plug it into your computer. There have been some products on the market such as Rody for Tesla, which is a little uh, Raspberry Pi device that allows you to, um, to be able to view the clips on your phone through a local Wi-Fi connection. But this is a good start and I think this is going to go places. Again, first iteration, we're bound to find some bugs, maybe some issues, but I think ultimately to be able to view it on your phone would be even better. But for now, we'll take this. So it says, watch saved dash cam clips or sentry mode events directly on the touch screen with the dash cam viewer. To launch it, tap the dash cam icon in the status bar and select launch viewer while the car is in park. While the car is in drive, you will continue to save a clip by tapping the icon. This is the icon for sentry mode. By the way, I should point out that it's actually changed. Um, Tesla apparently got in trouble or MGM got upset with them using the HAL 9000 icon from 2001 Space Odyssey in the cars, but that is the icon for uh, sentry mode. So if you get this new software update and you're wondering where the red globe is gone, it's still there. It's just a different icon now. So take a look at this new feature. We're going to tap on the dash cam icon and you get this new drop down menu and it says save footage or launch the viewer. Now in the past, if you press and hold on that, you'd have to press the button here, save dash cam footage, and that will save the last 10 minutes or so. Also, if you have it set up in your software, and I do believe it's under safety and security, I forget exactly where it is. Oh yeah, there it is. Save clips on honk. So if you have that enabled in your car and you press the horn in the car, it will also save um, dash cam clips at the same way. Anyways, let's take a look at the viewer. We'll just tap launch viewer. Now, just so you know, I have a solid state drive in my car it is a samsung um, s5 I, you can't see it here but i got it plugged into my jetta usb hub so here on the left we've got a close icon and you can see the current dash cam situation around my car and it shows me the rear camera the left camera and the right camera tapping any one of these will actually bring it up so you can actually zoom in on any one of these bring on the front and then we have this little hamburger icon if you tap on that we should be able to see a list of all of the different 
clips that it's saved. So we have this new menu that shows all, so I can see all the timestamps that it's actually saved. Or I can choose Century or Dash Cam. So Century will bring up all of the clips that have been saved from a Sentry mode trigger. So maybe I can pick something here that might have been triggered. So let's just uh, March 24th. So if I tap that, oh yes, I remember that. Someone was getting a car towed and this is the, <laughs> this is the flatbed parked out front of my house. There's my neighbor with his brand new Model 3. Yeah, so we can't see anything more than that. There's the rear camera, can't see anything. So anyways, that's that was a sentry mode trigger. So if I go back and pick something else, maybe um, maybe this one, let's see what that does. Okay, it uh, looks like it was parked somewhere. Yeah, grocery store. Let's go to the dash cam. And somewhere in here, and I forget exactly where it was, I was driving late at night and I caught a meteor. Now, it might have been this one. This is the great thing about solid state drives is that you have so much storage that I have clips going back months and months. If I find the clip, I'll pull it up, I'll put it here in post, but I caught a meteor one night and I'm hoping that it actually caught it. It actually went and streaked across the sky. Maybe the cash dash cam caught it, I'm not too sure. But anyways, there you go. So you have a live view of that. Uh, we go and pick another one here. Oh yes, helping my neighbor pick up his brand new Model 3 at Tesla in Toronto. So all in all, it's pretty good. Let's try a little something here. Maybe I can delete one of these. No, I can't. But you do get a scrubber down here on the bottom, so you can actually scrub to whatever position you'd like to see. And you do have an icon here in the bottom. It's a trash can icon, so tapping on that will give you a confirmation whether you want to delete this clip. It, of course, it says it's going to be permanently deleted. What I would like to see is the ability to be able to do it right here, swipe from all these. Being able to tap this and then having to tap that to get rid of it, it's an extra step I think could be alleviated if they were to do that. Anyways, we'll send in a, uh, a software request to Tesla and see if they can fix that in a future update, but so far it seems to work. Same thing here works in sentry mode. So if I tap one of these or try to delete it, it doesn't work. So all in all, it seems to work quite well. Again, I think this would be better improved if we were able to be able to review these on a phone or through a Wi-Fi connection or something like that to a car. And I do believe that that may be something they can add in the future, but so far it seems to work as advertised. Now, some people were saying that if you get towards the end of a clip, see, it just hiccuped there at the end of the clip and it went back to, I don't know what happened there. Did it go to the next clip? So we're currently reviewing April 3rd at 3.06 p.m. So again, I went to the end of the clip here and it chopped off about 10 seconds and then it kind of flipped back over to the start. So it looks like there's some bugs in here. We'll report that back to Tesla. You know, there's always room for improvement in this kind of stuff, but so far I like what I see. So the next thing to do is to have a look at the new graphics for Sentry Mode. So I'm going to exit out of the car, we'll lock the car, and within a few seconds we should see the new graphics for Sentry Mode. So there you have it. I've just uh, activated the new Sentry Mode. I've tripped it, and you can see the new icon looks like the eye of uh, that game portal. All right, now that we're back in the car, you can see here that we've triggered one Sentry Mode event report. And now by tapping on that, it says one event recurred, tap to view. By tapping on that, it should bring up the viewer automatically and take us right to the clip. And here I am approaching the car. So it works very smooth. You can just kind of tap on any one of the icons or just kind of look around the car and tap around. Well, as you can see, it works as advertised, but I think there's a few bugs and stuff that Tesla really needs to work out. But it's a good first effort. I'm really looking forward to some of the new improvements that they're going to be able to make. So that's a quick overview of the new software 2020.12.5. Make sure your car is hooked up to Wi-Fi to be able to receive it. Set your software setting to advanced and hopefully you get it as soon as possible. Anyways, I like what I see. It's not without its flaws, but I'm sure Tesla will fix it over time. If you like the video and you find it informative, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. See you guys. Thanks for watching.